My wife and I came in 1967. I established my roots here then. I became involved in the community by working with different organizations, fire company, the church, and I got to love the community. Grew up on the boardwalk on, and the beach, and at one point or another, I think I probably known somebody that's lived in every single house in Seaside Heights. I was elected to council at 28 years old. I was a young government official. I started working on the boardwalk uh, when I was pretty young. Got my first job folding towels. Back in those days, Seaside Heights was completely family oriented. We had some glorious years in the late 60s and early 70s. Those were some of Seaside's best years and I was, was fortunate to grow up in town um, and to be able to experience it and mo more importantly, remember it. That changed over time. Economics played a factor nationwide. The family structure in America started to change. Other things in the country changed. The seaside changed with it. A lot of the people, when I was a kid, who had lived here their whole lives, they would have been here from, you know, the 20s and the 30s. Um, they died. Home after home was sold, uh, business after business was sold. So Seaside Heights transitioned from an owner resident town to an investor community. And there was always that separation of what a property owner's anticipation and visions were compared to the business community. Because I was fortunate enough to live during what I call the glory days, I know it's something we can recapture. We had to get back to the family image. We had to rebrand ourselves. My first summer here was 2015. The Borough Council made a very conscious decision to try to recapture the family market. It's quality of life. I believe if we can direct our visions to a better life for our people that live here, our business people, and our visitors, it extends to the county itself. You know, we started looking around at what other beachfront communities are doing. You know, we, we didn't want to be too blatant about ripping other towns off. So, you know, we try to be a little creative as we go along from year to year. All of these little decisions come up. It's my job to make sure that those decisions that are being made are supporting that strategic vision. I think it's what everybody wants along the beach. The town comes alive. You know, and that's what it really was from 1913 forward. You know, this was the family tourism capital of Ocean County. When we came into office, we have empty stores. Now there are no empty stores on the boulevard or the boardwalk. We're doing a very active family-centric program in the summertime that include uh, movies on the beach, movies on the bay. We started Bonfire on the Beach, but we added an entertainment element to it. We have different sets of musical entertainment. We've gone with the Ocean County Tourism Board, the Mama Tourism Board. We've been to Canada, to Pittsburgh. We've been to Philly. We've been all over promoting what we believe will bring good people here. We never did that before. We do fireworks, of course. MTV uh, raised some money for Seaside Heights after Hurricane Sandy, and one of the things they did with it was buy a, a very large mobile stage. It's a great tool for us. It gives us the ability to host national acts. I believe that quality of life, if they feel safe and comfortable, we become better, that's the vision for the county. We worked as a team, not just the two of us, the mayor and council, police department, public works department, all the employees. I call them the Believe in Seaside team. We could not do the things that we do in this town that are tourism driven without the crew that we have. I've never heard the word no out of their mouths and they get it, they get the importance. We do all this together. We recognize that Ocean County tourism is very important and it's worked. That team effort has built a new reputation to us where we have developers coming to our town seeking to buy. The business community and the property owners have joined together and recognized the value that the industry of tourism brings in to Seaside Heights and to Ocean County. I believe that Seaside Heights is going to be the key to Ocean County. 
and, and I hope I live to see the beginning of a new structural revolution in Seaside. I grew up here. I've been here through the good and, and the bad. For me, it's a passion. On a really deep personal level, I think it means people are recognizing what Seaside Heights is doing. People outside of Seaside Heights are saying, hey, there is something going on in that town. We need to pay attention to it and, and maybe even support it. Just to, to walk around the stroll and to see the younger kids on the bay, which hasn't been used for years. We're seeing families, parents holding hands. That's what we had before. Uh, a community that you walk up and down the street and you feel safe. I think that's what we brought back. <laughs>